Oh, Oh my god! <laughs>
And I said, do you, do you derive pleasure from eating animal products? You yeah. said, yeah. beef burgers, yeah, man. Yeah. And yeah. you said you don't agree with unnecessary harm towards but, animals. But how is that unnecessary? Eating them? Yeah. Ooh, now we get into the necessary yeah, thing. Yeah, how is that unnecessary? Because I don't see, I don't see how I could sustain myself on a solely plant-based okay. diet. Because you can't see yourself, how you could sustain yourself, does that mean you can't? I don't know, because I haven't tried it. So I'm not going to say no yet, but I mean, how would I do that? How do I do, what do I do? How do I, how do you go about it? I don't see it being practical. Okay, well, let's just say you could, and it was, okay. you could thrive, yeah. and it was possibly healthier for you. But let's just say you had the same health as you did now, eating a plant-based diet. Would you then feel like it was a moral obligation to do that? Um, I'll put it like this. If I could get away with, let's say, not harming the animal, because that's, you know, if it means don't harm the animal, yeah, I can not harm the animal, and I'm getting the same intake, nutrients and all that, then, yeah, show me. Show you how. Show wow. me. Well, that was, that's pretty easy then. So you, you've been told that you need animals for your health, essentially, for certain nutrients and... Well, yeah, to a degree, but then it's my lifestyle. It's been my lifestyle up until this point, so it's all I know. Um, what you're telling me is that it's not necessary and I have a moral obligation to be the opposite way. Fair enough, so show me. Okay, okay. So there's this big peer-reviewed statement that the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics put out. They're the largest group of nutrition professionals on earth, about 100,000 of them. It says you can be healthy as a vegan on a, on a well-planned vegan diet through all stages of life, including pregnancy, infancy, adulthood, the elderly. So this is a very big peer-reviewed paper. It's backed by nearly 120 studies. Um, would that be evidence enough that you can be healthy on a plant-based diet? It would be evidence to a degree, but why the moral obligation? Okay. Why is it wrong? Uh, why is it wrong to eat animals? Because yeah, you say it's a moral obligation to be vegan, which implies to me that it's wrong to be the other way. Okay. It's not necessarily wrong to eat an animal. It's wrong to what, how we get to that point. <laughs> right. Like if you saw a decomposing animal on the side of the road that had died naturally and you went up and ate that animal, I wouldn't have a moral uh, problem with that. But what we're doing is we're breeding billions of them into uh, existence. We're stealing their children away from them. We're bolt gutting them in the skull, chopping them up into pieces, and then we're eating them. Right. But they do kind of serve a purpose because everything that's in the animal we get yeah. and it helps. Right? I mean, Human yeah, slaves I served a purpose too, didn't they? Uh, yeah, I know everything about that. I'm of African descent. Okay. <laughs> okay. And that was an argument, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, a very okay. big argument. An it argument that still exists. Wow. Not a very good justification, though, hey? No. So, because you say animals serve you, does that then it justifies us taking their rights away and not they don't, they don't really have a voice like human beings do, but that doesn't justify what we do to them, would you agree? Uh, I guess it doesn't, but I don't see any other way. I mean, I believe you're still yet to show me how I could sustain oh, myself. You know what? Hey, can you hold that for a sec? I'm just going to show you uh, some of the ways that we kill animals. This is a gas chamber here. With sound, you can hear them screaming. They gas pigs. Yeah, this is uh, in the UK. They gas pigs. They gas pigs. A third of the pigs in the UK are gassed. They gas them to death. And then they stab them in the throat when they come out. What? Yeah, they're sticking them in the throat, in the jugular. While they're alive? No, they've been gassed, so they're rendered unconscious, oh and then they God. stab them in the neck. What? So well, why do they have to gas them? It's just a way of uh, stunning the them. <laughs> they're stunning them instead of a bolt gun. They're hard to handle Dude, pigs. I didn't notice. I... Fuck. <laughs> Whoa. He's playing with the kid. Well, they don't have to do that. I mean, there's a better way to kill the pig. Jesus Christ. God, what the fuck? They're male chicks in the egg industry, they won't produce eggs, so they grind them up alive on their first day of life upon hatching. Standard practice, free range organic eggs do this. That is just too cool. The baby chick's still conscious, boom. So this is why I think it's wrong. I They're just simply slitting their Ooh, birds' throats. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, even for a long time. Oh, f Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Why haven't you seen this before? I don't know, because it's... I don't know, it's not... Advertised. I'm, I'm watching Power instead, or... <laughs> you know what I mean? This is fucking crazy! It's why weird. did it... Alright, why do they have to do that? Do to what? Bolt gun them in the head? 
Well, whatever they're doing, because this is unbelievable. How are they going to kill them? Many of them on a mass scale. These are baby bobby calves in the dairy industry. They don't produce milk, so they kill them soon after birth. They're just babies. He's cutting their throat. He tried to escape. <laughs> Where do you think meat comes from, dude? They miss this whole part in between now, don't they? Like. That's a dairy cow, they don't produce milk after a while, then they become useless, they just, they kill them. What the f I, I didn't know, I didn't know they did that. I didn't know that the animals went through that. The, the cow should be stunned first, this one wasn't stunned correctly. You can't always stun them all correctly when you're working with so many. Fuck. Sheep get their heads cut off, I don't know if you eat lamb or whatever. I love lamb jobs. I used to it's as well. Favorite. I used to as well, yeah. Um, but I, well, nah, I don't love them as much as that's that. That's not right though. I mean, you don't have to do that. 2016, this is still happening. No, you don't have to do that. I don't love lamb chops as much as I hate that. 2016, dude. This is how, this is, uh, fish been torn out of the ocean. Suffocating. Suffering. Um. You only seen the package in the supermarket shelf. This is the. Uh, That's disgusting. So hold on. How long is it stored like that before you eat it? Oh, it depends. It really depends. They days? hang them. They sometimes hang them for 21 days, or uh, you know, a week. Sometimes they're three weeks before you eat it, so it's not fresh. Uh, well, they're not warm technically. After you know, if you ate them straight after death, they'd still be warm. But do you reckon that make it better if they were fresh? I From know, a moral uh, standpoint, like I need to have a look at this, but I've not seen. I didn't know. You can look into I anything. I didn't yeah. know that the cow. I didn't know that they were being treated like that. You know what I mean? What's the ethical way of killing someone if they don't want to die? Just do it quickly, man. If they don't want to die. Well, we're talking about animals here. Human beings are also animals. Uh, I'll give you that for the purpose of this conversation. Biology. Well, let's look at what we have in common with animals. We're both sentient, yeah? yeah, yeah Feel yeah, pain, yeah, suffer, yeah, want yeah, to live. Yeah. We have families, we... We have will, we have desires, yeah. emotion. You don't think they're machines or... No, of objects. course not. But obviously their consciousness is not at a level where we are in the sense that we can in, we can manipulate our environment like almost completely to suit our needs. Animals don't really have that. I mean, they have it to a degree. Ooh, I don't know. Some. Some are very some, fantastic animals. Or some, some. But then, in general, we're able to we're able to live our lives on a much higher level of complexity. Complexity, okay. ordered communication, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So. Um, that, Communicating is very yeah, complex yeah. and yeah, that's how we pass knowledge on to Recognizing each other. patterns and yeah. storing those yeah. patterns and then pulling them out for reference. Um, yeah, we have that over the animals. Um, okay, I could concede that apart from that, there's not much different, but that is a pretty big differentiator. Okay. Not all humans can though. Not all humans are complex intelligently. Some are born with mental disability. Yeah, and again, you know, babies. that's... What about babies? Babies, yeah, because they're at a developmental stage. Yeah. And again, for those unfortunate enough to be born with, um, let's say, um, drawbacks, yeah, yeah. D d disabilities, yeah. you know, but that's not um, the standard for... We would still grant them human rights. Oh, absolutely, because they're yeah. human first. Yeah. Why wouldn't we grant those same rights to animals, even if they don't have complex cognition like you do? Only because they're called animals. Seriously, I mean, yeah, so, I'm so, not trying to be funny, oh, I'm just saying because we know them as animals, then they're just not humans, and so they uh, can't have that's, human rights. I get it. So, do, you know, do you understand? Do you know we use that to justify what we do to humans as well? We call them animals. Yeah, I know people have done that. I know people have done that in the past, but then animals are actually animals. Um, again, it doesn't take away. I mean, that was terrible. I've, I, had, I genuinely had no idea that that happened to beef before. I got the beef. Cows. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or the cow. Beef comes from a cow. <laughs> but, You're just separating the yeah, two. Yeah, 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 but you know, I mean, I, I didn't know. 
If we if we if we just uh, recognise that animals have the ability to suffer and want to live and feel pain and value their families, you know, we don't necessarily have to grant them all these amazing things, you know, like Absolutely. you know, but at least leave them alone and respect them based on that. Um, I could get with that. Yeah. The other side of that would be um, give me something to replace okay, that yeah, lifestyle. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Um, so a practical issue. Would yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not talking about like now you've taken away all the beef and all the chicken and all that shit. I've got to get up at 4:30 in the morning and start boiling vegetables so that I can have. Do you see where I'm coming from? Yeah. I don't want to do that. I would like to be able to continue my lifestyle. Yeah. Um, I would hope that a vegan diet or whatever wouldn't impact my no convenience factor and all that. I understand that. Like, do you, do you cook your own food now? Yeah. Okay, so you, it wouldn't take much more time to chop up a bit of tofu and put that on a uh, grill instead of a bit of chicken. I guess not. Yeah, I mean, if you knew what to eat, beans and yeah. greens and legumes and peanut butter and all these things, and bread's still vegan and pasta's still vegan and rice is vegan, and if you knew what to do, that practical issue... Would disappear. And then you'd feel, well, it's actually not, not that much of an inconvenience for me to look around and get the plant yeah, milk. And I mean, yeah, because you're talking to somebody that would much rather do a million things than eat food, dude. Yeah. Uh, you, do you know what, what I mean? a big deal for you. No, food is, I, I'm not that kind of person. But this is? Is this? That is because I have to eat. Do you this, understand? Yeah. Is so, this a big deal though, like for you, like in your, your conscience? Yes, in the sense that... It's a big deal because I have to eat. So where the food that I have to eat comes from, that matters. Yeah. Um, eating isn't a big thing. I'm, I'm pretty slim. Yeah, Do you understand? Yeah, like yeah. I said, I'd much rather be okay. out playing the guitar, blah, blah. Food is an interruption for me, really. So, oh, shit, I've got to eat. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you could, if I could suck it down and destroy it and it was all plant-based, I could get back on with what I was doing. Well, fantastic. Well. You know what I mean? Well, there's this challenge called Challenge 22 on Facebook. You don't have to, you know, it's free. You don't really have to do much except sign up on Facebook, right. challenge22.com. You do a little vegan challenge. They show you where everything is, you know, where to get the plant-based milks. Yeah. London, here, very privileged for vegan alternatives and options. Very convenient. Yeah. Uh, most of the places have vegan alternatives, for vegan options now. Mm -hmm. You can avoid this very easily, especially in your local Tesco and Sainsbury's. Yeah, yeah, There's a big... on the, not the soy, what do you call it? The... Um, Almond milk. Almond milk. Could, yeah, yeah, yeah. Almond, yeah. There's many to choose from that don't involve what we do to cows and their children being taken and killed and all of those things. So if you have a choice, do you feel like the moral choice would be to choose the plant-based? Uh, More moral. Is it, is it moral? I mean, yeah, you know what, based on the fact that they have to suffer? Um, is suffering moral? No. So... Yeah, I, I can see where you're coming from in that aspect. In terms of my moral compass, um, does it hit me there? No. But um, can I see how it's a better lifestyle? Absolutely. And do I want to be better? Yeah. Who doesn't, right? You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not here to fight what could be better for me. It's just that at the start, you told me what your moral yeah. framework was with yeah. animals and you're kind of going against that when you consume them. Yeah, and I understand yeah. that. But I mean, let's put it this way. Like I said, if you can show me, yeah. um, then why not adapt? If yeah. you've got a better belief system, then why not adopt that belief system and the reasons for believing? Do you yeah, understand? Yeah. Um, so why not? Let's do okay. face, what's it, challenge? Challenge 22. Legend, brother. Cool, bro. Really good conversation with you, man. You're welcome. Challenge22.com. I'm Joey Carbstrong, by the way, and um, you can Joey find Carbstrong. Joey Carbstrong. Really? Yeah, and I used to be a meat eater too. I, used to, I never saw this, dude. Right, right, yeah, right. I was actually a gang member before as well, so I was committing oh, violence in, it's in, in Australia. There was uh, gangs and I was involved with them and I was quite a violent person. And, but I still was against animal cruelty, which is crazy. And I never knew my steak had to come to the plate like this, so yeah, I mean, you're not alone there. Cool. Well, I live on YouTube all day, man. So uh, yeah, I check like us out. Collection, bro. You'll be on there. Yeah, I'm on YouTube all the time. Yeah, so, so cool. in the comment section can be a bit crazy, so don't worry about that. But that was a cool conversation, bro. <laughs> Thanks, man. Lovely. Challenge 22, brother. On you, mate. That's cool. You next? How can you prove what? you are not harming any animal? You're trying to point out some type of hypocrisy with me.